everybody, Candace here with Green New Farms DIY. Today I'm going to take you through how to make something really fun with all of those extra scraps that you have. So if you're like me and you keep your scraps, I like to color sort them all into different color groups, you know, so it makes it really easy for when I'm going through and creating the different um, pieces of fabric. And right now I'm working on the rainbow fabric sheets. This is everything that kind of looks rainbowish, is what I had in this one bag. As you will see right there, it has uh, all different kind of rainbow colors with it. And so what I'm going to be doing is teaching you how to do this. So it's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna end up with a piece of fabric when you're all done. This is able to be washed and um, it works perfect. I use the P44F Fusible Interfacing by Pellin. Now this has some bubbles on it and those bubbles are actually like a little bit of an adhesive and that really helps hold all my pieces down so that's why I use that one. The other thing I'm going to be using is tool so you can buy these little rolls of tool or you can buy a larger sheet. I just uh, put two layers down and just slightly overlap them. Alright, and as you can see, we're going to be kind of overlapping as we go all the way down our stabilizer. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our fabric strap, our fabric scraps. Alright, we're ready to move forward with our fabric straps. So all I'm going to be doing is just laying them in here, making sure I'm going edge to edge. not to be perfect but I like that uh, for the project I'm going to be making I just want them to go edge to edge so you just grab them and go back and forth and I need another angle piece to make it look right like that. now I can put this one down and I think I'm going to go with a piece of fabric that's a fruit again That's a real fun one. It's like a little tape measure. And that's all we're doing is we're just working back and forth all the way up and down this. And I got one more piece that I'm going to do. Oops, I think I'm going to do the butterflies. Good. And finish it off with this little polka dot. Perfect. All right, so I'm all the way through making this, and now we're going to go ahead and press it down. All right, now we're time to press it down, so we just simply just start pressing it. Now I have the bubbles facing up, so all the fabric is going to be able to be bonded down in there. And this isn't a real heavy bond, but it's enough to make it so it doesn't move around on me. All right, that's all down. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our tool down. And you can give it just a real light spray of glue, which I like to do, which just kind of holds my tool down in place just temporarily. All right, so now that's all down. And then when it's going through the machine to stitch down, it'll look very lovely. And you won't even notice that slight little overlap. So I went ahead 
and already started one in here so I can go ahead and show you. And you can see all of this fine little stibble that's going on. We are all done, so we're going to go ahead and just take that out of the hoop. And now we have our fabric. So you're just going to trim that up now, and now you're all done once you get it all trimmed. You can use it into any of your fun little projects that you want to make. Thank you so much for watching Green Roof Farms DIY and for supporting me as a digital design artist. Have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is free. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.